Hey there viewers, join me on a trip to the Red Royal Hotel in the central region of Ghana, Cape Coast to be precise. Thanks to all my old followers and also to the new ones here. Please don't forget to subscribe, you like, you share and you comment on the page. Alright, so I had the opportunity to go to the Red Royal Hotel the very first time in my life, all thanks to Lead for Ghana. Yes, so Lead for Ghana is um, an organization dedicated to addressing educational challenges in Ghana by empowering young leaders to make a difference and also to provide students with skills to drive positive change in schools. Right, so um, the campus ambassadors had to meet and then our location was a Red Royal Hotel. Um, my colleague and I um, from UAW, he's Richard, and then we had to go and meet the UCC ambassadors. So it would be a very interesting trip, you know. All right, so we um, you know Cape Coast Road is very lonely and I didn't get the chance to have videos of hawkers or have people around like, you know, the setting you see in like Accra or like a different place. So um, we we're almost there. That was Ghana National College and then we passed um, Abisado College in two years. So we didn't know the place, but all thanks to Anti Dalfoa, we were able to um, return to the actual place. There's a place also that is at our college, and we had to return to the Red Royal Hotel. I was very excited because I've really heard of Red Royal Hotel, but having gotten the chance to be there myself, so this was the very first time. And as we were about to get there, like I was very happy. Like I was really happy. I was even talking like with joy and all. So when we got there, there were people who were departing from the place. Like I could see Indians and also people from I think Kings yes. Yeah. So this was the fall when we got there. We decided to take videos like, like for memory's sake. Alright, so we wanted an outdoor setting. So we had to move outside and then to prepare the place to meet um, our fellow colleagues from the University of Cape Coast here. Yeah. So we were waiting for them and then we decided to explore. Right, so the lady in the ash is anti Daquan, and the lady in the yellow is anti Patty, and then um, the gentleman you see is my fellow colleague in the University of Education, whenever he is Richard and Chill. Yes, yeah, so we were all happy to get to the um, location. Um, to wait for our colleagues, we decided to go around to explore the place since we haven't been there before, as I stated earlier. Right, so I wanted to even make videos for the content so we got downstairs I could take a video of um, the Red Royal Hotel as in where we have the flats and all I really love the environment like it was so like vibrant with colors and also the place had a very peaceful like um, feeling yes you would feel like yeah a very comfortable place so um, I decided to take pictures there and then video. So yes, I was just feeling myself. I wanted to just walk so they could take a video of me. Yes, I, I just felt like it. Yes. So um, we um, also went to this place. I don't know if I should call it a garden or something, but it looked like a garden. Yes. So we got there. It was great with like breathtaking views. Like you could hear the sound of the birds. And also everywhere looked like serene. The place is very calm and I was happy being in there. I decided to take videos here too. I just wanted to do myself. I just wanted some for record keeping things. I can show them to my kids. Like they would know they are more going to a great way out of so like some years to come. <laughs> Alright, so we were so exploring. We were done with the garden as I said earlier. Then we had to go back to where we came from, but we were still wanting to go see a lot of places. I said on safari and then I knew they had um, a swimming pool around there, but we, we are asked not to move so far away from where we were, so we didn't get the chance to go there. I don't know if I should call this place an art gallery or I don't know a perfect name for it, but it had nice artworks on the on the walls here yeah, was also part of the restaurant too i think this painting is like a hunter with his wife and then maybe his um, his pets or something this one actually i was thinking it's showing maybe love or something because you can see an umbrella with like some roses and all like a guy and then a lady but their faces are closed so i don't know you can also share in the comment section though right so i also saw a painting of um, a lip with a red 
lipstick there. It was also nice. I decided to take the use of it. Um, we just had to settle down. So after going a lot of places, we decided to settle down and also wait for our colleagues from UCC. As they told us, they were almost at the place. Enjoy. I can dance very well. <laughs> and I visited three countries. And all right so that was a game we played before the actual discussion would take place and it was about saying two truths about yourself and then a lie and then we figure out the ones that are the truth and then the lie right so um the lady in the wig is um sheila from ucc the lady with the natural hair is also sheila from ucc and also um the lady in the black suit here yeah, that's nadia so they are the ambassadors from ucc that joined us there so we had discussions pertaining to our roles as ambassadors. We shared various experiences in our various schools and then how we think we go about our ambassadorial duties. And also we had the chance to also um, learn one or two stuff from people like those around there because I was able to learn how some of them speak, how some of them share their ideas. Um, in the beginning, I was thinking I wouldn't be able to socialize or be able to speak up or something, but. The environment was so serene and also um, interesting. So we all shared our views and it was a great discussion. And that one took us through our roles and also she gave us our, um, she explained the campus ambassador handbook to us. It was very interesting. At a point we were very hungry and had to eat. So um, we asked Aunt Dakwa to tell the, um, the waitress to just bring us the menu so that we can be able to order for our food. And, Interestingly, um, the ladies we see ordered for the local dishes and the gentleman amongst us ordered for continental dishes. She ordered for, I think, um, fried chips with burger and then um, two ladies ordered for fufu with goat meat soup. And then four of us ordered for um, banco and tilapia. So, you know, I don't joke with my mom. <laughs> Alright, so in the menu, I think the, um, the prices were a bit affordable. Yeah, the prices were very cool because um, we all had 200 cities to spend. So anything you other for it should be in the 200 cities like 200 cities for all of us so you have to choose from the menu and everyone was very excited because after a long session we were so much hungry right so this is the bar and then the wine list menu and then um, we chose our juices as well as um, the coke nadia ordered for the coke i ordered for the apple juice and then my other colleagues ordered for the ginger pineapple ginger juice so um, we were just there and um, the gentleman's food was served first because they were like it was ready so we were all waiting for hours. Not so long ago after um, continuing with our discussion since we weren't eating, um, those who ordered for fufu and then um, the goat meat soup had theirs and they had to munch on it. So the banquet and slab just spot. we were also waiting for hours and we also had our food. It was so nice and I would say like the food was just 10 over 10 with mine. Um, I also ordered for the um, bamboo and then tilapia. Yeah, so this is my food, neatly garnished, and it was so superb. Right, so um, I really love the tilapia because it was really seasoned well and then it was very hot. And the pepper, I love the red pepper, the chili sauce, and also um, the shito. It was very nice. We we ate everything like in a twinkle of an eye, like under three minutes, we were all done because the food was very nice. So after eating. We had to sign our contract and pertaining to the league for Ghana. Um, we all have our, our rules and um, objectives, so we had to go in and then sign our contract before leaving there because that was our main objective for meeting at the Red Royal Hotel. Not so long, we had to leave the place. We had to exit, as in um, those on the UCC campus had to go back to school and we also had to return to Winneba. So we couldn't leave the place without taking pictures and videos. So we had to take pictures and videos. At the end, we all ordered for a pizza. So we had to share it amongst ourselves before they leave. And then we also join our car. So um, um, the UCC ambassadors had to um, take an Uber back to school. But we came with um, our ride and we had to join back to Uber. All right, so the trip was very interesting. I had a chance to learn for my from my other colleagues and then I'm sure they also had one or two stuff they could learn from me and the trip was very peaceful since the car was was not so much occupied we we're just three at the back seat and we we're just enjoying having fun I didn't feel to sleep or anything because 
I was really eager to see what's going on on the road or something. So I was awake using my phone. Sometimes I'll just um, be watching videos and just to keep myself awake. Yeah. So please don't forget to look up for Lead for Ghana on Instagram at Lead for Ghana. And then please don't forget to subscribe, you like, you share, and then you comment on the page. And um, on all my social media handles, it's Ifa Koba on TikTok, Ifa Koba, Instagram, Ifa Koba, Facebook, Ifa Koba, and also YouTube, Ifa Koba, as well as Snapchat. Bye!